This is screencast is to show you the new support for frames in the IDE and also on, on FireMonkey. On the previous version, there were no support for FireMonkey frames, so this is a huge um, improvement. So you can isolate the pieces of uh, your UI on uh, frames and uh, reuse the, the frames on the different forms you have on your application. So I'm going to create a new FireMonkey application with an empty form and then I'm going to create a new FireMonkey frame. A frame is just a visual container and I can place uh, controls inside and then on forms there is a new item here on the tool palette which is called frames. When you click you are asked for the frame you want to insert on, on that uh, form. So in this case it's this one. I'm going to align this to the left and to resize it. And I can insert multiple frames, even it's the, the same frame. That is, there are two instances of the same frame. So I can do this. Okay, I can run the project. And now I have here my two buttons. And I can go to the to the frame and for example double click and add a behavior. Here just run. Then I get the same behavior for both buttons because are instances of the same uh, class. So this is also good, for example, if I modify this, um, to add an edit, this frame, and I place new controls, when I go to the uh, form which contains uh, the frames, I see the, the two instances of the edit control which belongs to, to the frame. I can run, and I get it, okay? Just remark that I can select uh, in the structure uh, panel any instance of uh, which is contained by the frame, but on the code I don't have pointers to them. Uh, I should access those specific instances of the controls, uh, qualifying uh, first by the instance of the frame I have. Okay. And uh, another thing is, for example, if I try to delete. Uh, here on the form where I have placed uh, the frames, if I, if I try to delete one um, control, I get this uh, error because I cannot delete an, insta uh, an instance of uh, a control that was introduced on the ancestor. So this is uh, the right behavior. And also, for example, if I move or customize uh, a control which is on the, on the frame, if I go to the base frame and I, I make some change this way, for example, then that change is populated to the to the frames that doesn't have customized that control. But the customization of my form still remains. That is the expected behavior. This is like visual inheritance where I can customize the, the children of, uh, uh, of my uh, frame, of my controls. Okay? So I hope you like it. This is a very powerful feature uh, for you in order to design your UIs and I hope you like it. Thank you.